Hey guys, Brian back in with another video. And uh, so I've been shooting a couple videos on Under Armour's run, run technology or the technology they've been using for uh, running to kind of help uh, improve your runs, uh, support your training. And uh, so I'm testing out a couple of things. One, uh, you'll see in a different video that I'm using the True Wireless Flash headphones. Uh, I've done reviews on this one, um, so you can check those out. I'll leave a link in the description below. But also, uh, I'm testing out other products as well. So um, I did a video on the Intelligent Phantom sweater. And this video, we're going to talk a little bit more about Map My Run. So if you've used Map My Run before, it gives you a ton of data on your workouts, which is amazing. Uh, but this year, if you've been following uh, kind of the updates, they've given uh, an update of real-time coaching. So it's kind of hard to demonstrate it uh, in this video. Um, it's kind of something that happens on your run. But one thing you'll notice as you're running is it's giving you feedback on distance, time, all that stuff. But it'll also give you uh, detailed instruction on how to correct your run if you are off your pace, right? So if you're on a run and you've been keeping a certain pace and I see you're starting to get fatigued or tired, it'll start to give you tips, tricks, um, helpful advice on how to keep pace, improve pace, uh, depending on how your running style has been going up until that point. Um, from my experience, it's been doing that roughly in that second half of the mile. So if you're running, you know, let's say a mile, um, about three quarters of the way in, if it notices that something is off, it will kind of try and correct it. As you get closer to that mile, it'll kind of give you feedback and say, oh, you're on track, you're on pace, uh, things like that. So like I said, I, I don't run a lot. Uh, I just really started running. Uh, I've been testing out the new Hover Machinas, which you'll see a video on if you haven't seen it already. Um, and so you know, I've just been doing a lot of power walks, you know, quick pace walks, short runs, nothing crazy. Uh, this one here is a mile. It's a little bit faster than the last mile I ran. Um, and I'll get into that a little bit more with the Machina video, which um, I'm working on as well. So um, like I said, this video is going to be super short. It's just kind of giving an update on what the update is to map my run. Um, it's actually pretty cool when you think about it. If you're a person who's just getting into running or you're a person that uh, is training for something, having that real-time coaching feedback can be helpful if you're into that. If you're not really tracking your data, uh, if numbers and all that kind of stuff, the charts, graphs don't interest you or, or help you out at all, then um, this, you know, this is definitely something you could skip. Um, it's definitely something you don't need. Uh, the only thing I have not tested is how it works with a smartwatch. Um, don't have a smartwatch at the moment, but um, once I do, I'll test that out and I'll give an update on that as well. Uh, the cool thing with this also is that you will also see there's a section here uh, that says learn more about your summary data. And when you click on that, it will actually send you to a list of different attributes on your run. So, you know, stride length, cadence, ground contact time, foot strike, angle, pace, splits, all that stuff will be listed here. And then it'll kind of give you more information on what that means and how that adapts to, you know, what you've done. Um, you know, so yeah, for more experienced runners, this may not be the greatest thing ever, but for those people who are casual runners who are looking to train for an event or something like that, I feel like this could be helpful. Um, even down to foot strike, I think that will be important for people who are just kind of starting out running, um, but don't really understand how to run. Um, I think as you find more experienced runners, they will teach you that there is an art to running and finding your style, with, which is with anything, right? Um, you'll find out that as you get more advanced in whatever you do, you'll you'll find out there's tips and tricks that you never even thought of, uh, ways to make it better, more efficient, things like that. So it's pretty cool that Matt My Run and Under Armour have really taken this seriously. Uh, I feel like there are other apps that can do similar things, but to integrate it into uh, features that can help you on your run uh, actually seem pretty cool. Um, and if you're that nerdy type of person that really likes numbers and graphs and charts, then those are all here for you as well. So there's definitely charts for stride length, pace, how to keep track of all that, uh, cadence, ground, all that stuff is all listed as well. Um, so you can actually see how it all lays out. 
And like I said, the biggest update is just the real-time coaching. So you're going to get that feedback um, on your runs, uh, on your workouts, and hopefully it will help you improve your runs and make them more efficient. Uh, if you guys have any questions or anything you want me to dive into, like I said, there's some really amazing uh, run channels on YouTube. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below on some of my favorite. They will review all types of shoes, all types of technology. Um, I watch a lot of them, uh, just trying to get interested in a lot of the stuff that's going on in the running world. It's a totally unique world, and so it's pretty interesting to me. Uh, but like I said, I'll leave a link in, uh, in the description to some of my favorites, and then you guys can check them out, ask them questions on the more detailed professional stuff. Uh, like I said, this is kind of just an overview of the, of the Map My Run platform, and I know people have their favorites. That's fine. Um, so, like I said, any questions or anything like that, leave them below. I'll try and get to them, and uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. So, one thing I definitely forgot to mention I wanted to throw in this video. Uh, if you are using this suite of running technology, um, charge your phone or make sure you have a newer phone with a very big battery. Uh, I use these with my Google Pixel 3 XL, which if you are in that space and you know about phones, does not have the greatest battery in, in the world. Um, no knock on them. It, it works fine to get me through the day, uh, but it was down to... 70%, 60%, somewhere in that range, 60, 70%. Um, I had the headphones in, I had the shoes connected, I had the GPS going on the run. And by the time I got back from about a mile jog and I was uh, uploading the workout to the Map My Run app, my phone died. So be aware, uh, while this is cool, make sure you have a, a good battery life or make sure you have good battery life on your phone or if you don't make sure it's charged because uh it will drain um using gps is gonna affect the battery using gps connected with other devices is gonna drain it faster so just as a heads up i'm gonna add this into the video not sure where um and that's just a heads up so good battery life yay <laughs>